Hello there, beautiful children. My name is Pamela Adlon, and I'm here to read you a nice little book. So mommy and daddy, or mommy and mommy, or daddy and daddy, or just that person who tucks you in at night can go and have three minutes of uninterrupted potty time. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, some of my favorite books that I read to my girls are being pulled from the library and school shelves as book bans and classroom censorship bills sweep the nation. Paging George Orwell, it's the 21st century and we are being denied our first amendment right to read and learn freely. Like our right to read Heather Has Two Mommies by Leslie and Newman and illustrated by Laura Cornell. This book, this scary book, became one of the most banned books in the 90s. Spoiler alert, I think it had something to do with these two mommies. I dare you to listen to this book and not love it as much as my daughters do and as much as I do. Let's read. Heather has two mommies. An embarrassment of riches. Heather lives in a little house with a big apple tree in the front yard and lots of tall grass in the backyard. Look at this cool drawing. Look at her animals. Heather's favorite number is two. She has two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears, two hands, and two feet. <laughs> and purple cowboy boots, which is really cool. Heather also has two mommies, Mama Jane and Mama Kate. I mean, one could be mommy, one could be mama, but the, this author chose that. I like that too. One day, Mama Kate and Mama Jane tell Heather they have a surprise for her. You're gonna start school next week, Mama Kate says. I remember reading to my kids like that. After nap time, all the children sit in a circle and Ms. Molly reads them a story about a boy whose father is a veterinarian. Who knows what a veterinarian is? Asks Miss Molly. I do. My mommy is a veterinarian, Juan says. A veterinarian is an animal doctor. My daddy is a people doctor, shouts David. My mommy is a people doctor too, Heather shouts even louder. What does your daddy do, David asks Heather. I don't have a daddy, Heather says. She looks around the circle and wonders, huh, am I the only one here who doesn't have a daddy? I have an idea, Miss Molly says. Let's all draw pictures of our families. Good drawings. Miss Molly looks at all the pictures. It doesn't matter how many mommies or how many daddies your family has, Miss Molly says. It doesn't matter if your family has sisters or brothers or cousins or grandmas or grandpas or uncles or aunts. Each family is special. And the most important thing about a family is that all the people in it love each other. Doesn't that get you right here? I love this book because it makes you realize, kids and grownups, that families aren't defined by any one thing. They come in all different forms. That's why I love this book. But you know what I don't love? That politicians and the government and school boards across the country are moving to keep some of our most beloved books, like <laughs> Heather Has Two Mommies, out of schools and off library shelves. So please, let's show up for our students, teachers, librarians, and for ourselves, and keep reading and learning. It's our right. End here, skip to next clipped page. Eh.